Welcome back. This is Moraka PDX. Uh, we are playing Control. Behind the controls is Daniel. Yeah, hello again. And uh, commenting along with him is brother Tony. All right. Um, we have arrived at the Panopticon where we are looking for the containment that is holding Maybe subject P6, who is Dylan, just Faith's brother. Yeah. To assist in mitigating a crisis. Just Would you like me to list them for I'm you? I'm their boss and they're fired. No. <laughs> What's your guy's deal? You're fired too. Yeah. The Panopticon. Dylan's close. But that object of power might wreck this place before I find him. Seven of the <laughs> items you needed to like, just. <laughs> yes. Perfect. I have a luck of ten, apparently. I am wearing my lucky suit. That's true. That would have been cool. It would be neat if it had like a little game mechanic attached to it. A little boost. I mean, then, you know, it would be the only thing anyone ever wore, but. Jesse Faden would permanently be wearing yeah. a yellow suit. It's always the problem with the attaching stuff like that to the. Cosmetics. It was like such a bad idea in Cyber 2077 when it started with the, all the clothing having stats and yeah, you were wearing effects and stuff. Outfit. Yeah, you, like everybody running around wearing trash. It's just like, what is this? Kind of funny, but no, it, it's absolutely it is hilarious. But it's, something went wrong. Everyone's with doing it. It's just crazy. Marshall made it sound like. One of the areas that I feel was a little weak is the understanding Dylan and how he's sort of this like tortured kid that like I, I ultimately have gathered enough to understand it but I don't feel, feel like it was perfectly uh, presented due to the sort of non-linear way the story can kind of progress sometimes. Which you could say is a, a bit of a weakness for a lot of control is because you can approach, you can attack a lot of these sections. Not Hello? any section. Ah, uh, yes. There? 
What are you doing in there? Oh, thank God. Look, someone has to watch this object at all times, or it deviates. My ship replacer never showed up. Can you help me? Damn. Nope. I can't. I'm sorry. There's an emergency. I'll come back. I promise. Okay. Okay. Just don't forget. I can't stare at this thing much longer. Oh yeah, <laughs> basically there. <laughs> Do it in a way that didn't hurt you. Down there. Okay, dude. Thanks for nothing. You're fired. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's nothing down here. Okay. Looking for that chest with seven upgrades. Yes. Seven materials. Rude. The object of power. I need to cleanse it. Get up in there.
my goodness. Nailed by the rocket. I thought I was going to be safe for a second. Mm, nope. Crew of the White Ocelot first encountered the strange spherical phenomenon while fishing in the redacted. Witnesses described it as a black sphere with a faint light behind it. It hovered just off the bow of the ship. The crew re redacted by throwing a tin bucket which disappeared into the sphere. Soon after, the vessel lost structural integrity, the ship's metal rusted and fell apart within minutes. As the ship sank, the sphere lowered into the water. A passing fishing vessel called the redacted rescued for the four surviving crew. Agents were dispatched to the White Ocelot's last known coordinates, redacted in parentheses, and began diving operations on the ocean floor. The agents found the sphere. The ship was entirely destroyed except for the anchor. As the agents lifted the anchor off the ocean floor, they noticed the sphere behaved in conjunction with the anchor, moving and stopping as one. Contact with the sphere was avoided, but handling the anchor provided uh, proved harmless. The item was transported by 
the redacted to the U.S. port of redacted. Upon arriving in New York, it was brought to the Bureau via redacted. Nice. Hmm. Oh, new enemy encounter. We hit the triangle for unreds. Yeah, that's um, Salvador's. Okay. The security clearance says like a, almost like a punch card. Is it giving me level six clearance, maybe? Oh, that would be interesting. Maybe. There we go again. Apply Look to the far right. Down one. Yeah. Um, damage oh, boost. That's the one I was originally using. Oh, that's right. You switched to zoom. Are you liking the zoom over the damage boost? Not really. Okay. Yeah, it's not like I might as well hit harder. Mm -hmm. Not bit that big of a zoom. Mm -hmm. And you gotta cleanse it. Improvise. 
sick. Okay, dealt with the TV. Now I can find Dylan. What about the fridge guy? Uh, you can go back to him too. to that platform to get it go forward Ooh. or you can head back the, uh, which is like you know right there but that's okay I'm sure you can stare at the fridge longer There's a swan. Yeah. Okay, there's gotta be some. Okay, maybe not. Interesting. There's a boat. Not, um, so, I think not all of the items here can be interacted with, but you can see them and you can read about them. Um, but, uh,. Some of it's just here for flavor. Yeah, nice water cooler. The crowbar? Yeah. It is a fucking cooler. Gordon! <laughs> Gordon <laughs> Freeman, much. you made it. Pretty. be nearby or maybe the hiss got to him i don't know jesse listen dylan's here with us he just walked in he says he is giving himself up he's been affected by the hiss but, but he is different than the others we must isolate him i'm on my way we need to get back i have to see my brother Daily observations. Uh, breakfast is brought. Gets out of bed, uses toilet, returns to bed. Love 57, asks for television to be turned on. Staff do so. 
12 p.m. Lunch is brought. Breakfast is removed. 12.02. Eats lunch. 2.38. Uses toilet. 4.03. Begins talking to self. Recording speech is not possible due to the noise from the television. 4.07. Becomes upset. Throws lunch tray at glass. 4.09. Sedated. Clean. Uh, crew clean cell television is turned off. 612 comes to ask for television to be turned on. Staff refuse. 616 sleep. Question mark. Television uh, privileges were refused due to hostile behavior. Mm. Benikoff TV. No unique containment procedures required while bound. The CRT television built by Benikoff and Sun's electric screen is still functional. The object can levitate itself off the ground to a maximum observed altitude of redacted. When bound, the object allows prairie utilitarians to harness this effect in their own, for their own use. See report redacted for results tested in Prime Canada redacted. The object is currently bound by redacted background. The object first discovered in a local news story from redacted Kansas. A figure had been seen redacted over buildings. The Bureau dispatched agents to the town who discovered that a man named Redacted had bound himself to the object. Mr. Redacted was detained. See case 39-HQ-656. An object uh, uh, was brought to the Bureau for study. Yes. That's uh, the unread. Okay. Just went to you know the home base. So I feel like we're getting played. Mm. Understandable. That's not weird that he scratched your name into his cell. Oh, is that what it says? today, Dylan. Like I said, I want to talk about Jessie, your sister. What about her? I just want to get your perspective. What do you think of her? What kind of person is she? That sort of thing. I adored my sister. When I was little, I mean, back in ordinary. And you don't anymore? <sighs> when I first got here, sure. I'd always hope she'd come too. To find me, to take me home. We went everywhere together. Why should this be any different? Casper said she could come, too, to the Bureau, if she wanted to, but she never did. Why do you think that is? <laughs> because she didn't care about me. She always wanted to be out on her own, seeing the world. She always said so. I guess she got what she wanted. Great. So, she wanted to see the world. Did she ever mention any place in particular? Why? We like to ask questions around here, you know that. Any particular cities, towns, landmarks, anything like that? I don't remember. What about family friends? Were you close with anyone living outside of Ordinary? I'm done with this. 
Tell Casper I want pizza for lunch today. Dylan, wait, we're not. End of session. It's free time to Dylan's grumpy. Mm -mm. Like I said, I want to talk about Jessie, your sister. What about her? I just want to get more perspective. When you think of her, what kind of person is she? That sort of thing. <laughs> Now you can check in on the poor dude to yeah. in front of the refrigerator. I'm sure he's fine. Yeah, I doubt it. Well, I'm glad that worked. Yeah. That felt like a leap of faith. Uh, this way? Yeah. Oh, hey. That's a thing. Oh, wait, I already captured it. Sick. If I can add to it. Duration. Oh, cool. I mean, I could do that. 30% melee damage is tempting. Health is always good. Mm -hmm. I do like launch damage. Probably because I have to buy this first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is more important. Use it one point. That's fine. I'll save it. Nice. Completed the thing. is in maintenance. Gross. Damn it. So close. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, look. Keep your eyes open, Phillip. Hey, Philip. Hey, what can I do? Oh, you're back. Oh, thank you. Thank you. If, if I look away... I don't know what this thing will do. You have to get me out of here. The door can only be opened by the Panopticon supervisor. That's Langston, if he's still uh, around. Langston. Yeah, I know him. I'll go ask him how to get you out. Please hurry. My eyes. They can't. They can't. Hey, calm down. Just focus. What's your name? Philip. Focus. Right. My, my, my name's Philip, and I think I can hold on for a bit. It's just my eyes. My eyes hurt so much. Just hang on, Philip.
been to this one, right? No, but that's... Oh, okay, <laughs> Overcompensate a little. Not the button I intended to press. Sorry, Philip, I'm getting totally distracted. <laughs> Baby carriage. Dark one, that's spooky. Huh. Seems kind of a dead end. Oh, there's a whole, whole last door here. Uh, archives. Oh. Uh. Alright. Try to fucking save Philip and not get distracted. Watching the refrigerator and very rapidly losing it. Philip. Oh shit! I forgot about fridge duty. He's been in there for over a day. I totally forgot. You forgot about him? There's a lot going on. The hiss, the Benikoff TV. Considering the number of things I'm juggling, ma'am, I think it's. Listen, it's fine. We just need to get him out of there. He said you'd be able to open the cell door. Yeah, I can unlock it on my terminal. There. Done. Door. Open. But Philip can't just leave. The fridge is behaving erratically. Ocular contact is the only thing that seems to placate it. If we don't have someone in there watching it 24-7, people will die. I'll figure something out. I'm pretty good with these things. Being pretty good with altered items isn't standard bureau procedure, ma'am. He doesn't know us very well. Done any of these, have I? Mm -mm. Do you like working at the FPC? <laughs> sure. Or I mean, yeah, the drama is <laughs> a bit much, but I get better benefits here than I would over at the Postal Service. I checked. Better health care. That's not to say I don't like my job, ma'am. Been here over 15 years. No one knows the Panopticon collection better than me. I'm, uh, close to them, in a way. I can't tell if that's creepy or normal here. How do you keep the altered items under control? It depends on the item. Each one has different needs. Ritualistic touches go a long way. Singing to them. Did he say singing? Flipping the lights three times, that sort of thing. It's not superstition if it works. What's the difference between objects of power and altered items? Think of them like storms. Objects of power are like tropical cyclones or hurricanes. They're big, rare, and scary. Of course, directors can just bind the OOP and become the eye of the storm. Altered items are more like weird thunderstorms. Some may rain frogs, some may rain corn, but they all rain something. And how does the hiss factor into all that? It's changing them, making them aggressive. Now they're all raining, I don't know, knives. Knife rain. Nice metaphor. Did you work closely with Trench? Oh, he spent most of his time with Darling and all them. The inner circle. Not that I care. Trench certainly had his favorites. He did stop in occasionally to scowl and smoke. Did you know the Bureau has a no smoking policy? It does. Just not for Trench. Still, he is the one who put aside funding for the Panopticon. The man did have vision. How did you get this job? Started as a junior agent because my uncle knew a guy. From there I got put on a desk until an accident left the containment sector severely understaffed. At which point I got bumped up to management. 
Put in a steady eight hours a day for another ten years, and voila, supervisor. I just picked up a gun. <laughs> or a gun picked me. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here, like always. The cover fell up. <laughs> There's no more okay. delay. 